definition hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <gasps> Made it. Did you get it? From me dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! <laughs> Gangway, Walter! <laughs> Typical! I was examining that! What? The cracks in the pavement? No, the floor that was growing there. What's the rush this time, Dennis? Alien invaders! <laughs> Science fiction? <laughs> I am an alien! Oh, baby! <laughs> Honestly, why waste your life watching nonsense about things that don't exist? So what are you doing that's better? Something useful. Unlike you, I'm cataloguing every known variety of Beano Town wildflower. So there! Protect you, Brenda. No giant gastropod is gonna get my girl. We play this as for the cosmic space like uh, Hey, wouldn't it be cool to make a real space alien movie? Yeah, great idea, Curly. We could borrow me dad's new camcorder. But won't we need costumes and props and stuff? We sure will. To save the Earth! So, you're the star of this movie? The star and director. What's it going to be called, then? Uh, Dende versus the Spider Dog and uh, Pie Tin Monster from the Moon of a Menacing Five! Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Den <laughs> Ah! Did you get that? Uh, can we do a take two, Den? What was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow, they growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! Yeah. <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Oh. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Isenthroid is non-scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <laughs> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh. It still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! But we've still got to add me special effect. Hey, Nasha! <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh, what do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking! Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh, my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? <gasps> oh no! A, a spaceman! And a hairy spider monster! 
monster. This taking is ours for the planet. Oh, aliens do exist, and they're invading Beano Town. I must warn humanity. This planet is ours for the taking. From me. Hey. Aliens! I've seen them, I tell you! Eh? What? Aliens, you say? Yes! Look! This taking is ours for the planet! Robot aliens? Spider creatures! And I just made myself a cup of tea and I saw this giant silver man walk past my kitchen window! I mean, if I could just call you back. Here. No, it were terrible. Scared the living daylights out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheatley bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Well, have you seen them too? Oh, oh I don't know where they're from. No, I'll be there as, uh, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those fairies at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Danger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! And cut! So, that's it, then? I guess... Although a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Run for your lives! This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens are invaded! Ah, there's one of them! Ah! Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This, uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, man? What have you found? Glow sticks I I in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought... I was sure I... Really, Walter? I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 I, I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature.
What's this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't, now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you've got two, who's the other one for? Miss Minnie Wolf, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <coughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <coughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! I've got to keep my strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's <coughs> not polite. <coughs> <coughs> My tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That, you made it. Whoa, like the new hair. <laughs> Quick, Nasha, take these. <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure. I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. The crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Daddy, hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have <laughs> some money? Is it? But you always give me money. <laughs> <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Bucket, sir. Uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Rat Bucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what. If you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. He's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> Quiet. 
First day of the holidays and it seems Dennis has finally discovered the joys of having a lie-in. Ah! Quarter to eight! Wait! Bye, Mum! Bye, Dad! Dennis, your breakfast! <laughs> Dennis! Have you made me face, washed my bed, changed my hair, combed my underpants? Yeah. But why all the rush? First day of the halls, Mum! Got to get out early and do stuff before the town gets to... Busy. We are not waiting in that. OK, no worries. I got a plan. Stand aside, folks. Stand aside. Official business. Oi, who are you? Government taste inspectors, sir. Ice cream division. Well, uh, that was a kid's bus pass. Ah, uh, uh, that's cos we're undercover. Undercover? You just told me who you were. Look, are you gonna let us taste inspect your ice cream, or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> Hang on. Ain't you the dopey one what hangs around with Dennis? Don't be daft. He doesn't wear glasses like these. Oops. Oh. Maybe try the zoo instead? OK, no worries. I got a plan. <laughs> ah! Run for your lives! A lion has escaped! Ah! <laughs> Run, I say! His ferocious jaws will tear! Lim. Fun fair. Oh, oh, I know this bit. You got a flan, right, Dan? Plan, pie face. I got a plan. <laughs> Never again. Those rides were way too extreme. Yeah, wouldn't go in there unless you like being really sick. <laughs> wow, cool. Let's do it. Oh, OK. Looks like this may require some serious thought. Is that Neptune or Uranus? So, actually, if we want to be sure we don't have to wait around tomorrow, the easiest thing would be to get rid of everyone in Beano Town. So easy in the sense of really, really hard, then. If people were pies, that'd be easy. Come on, guys! Ideas! How do you vanish 10,000 people? Ha! Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Excellent. Not a star out of place. Just the way I like it. <gasps> What's that? Oh, looks like an asteroid. And it's heading straight for Beano Town. Polish me, kit bag. I think you're right. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision. Better alert the neighborhood watch. Neighborhood watch here. Red alert, Corporal. We have a 196. Repeat, a 196. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision? Are you sure, sir? Positive. Sound the alarm, lad. Repeat, this is not a drill. Beano Town must be evacuated immediately. Dennis, B. We're in the car, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go! <laughs> now that is what I call extreme menacing. Better get some sleep, Nasha, cos tomorrow we've got Beano Town to ourselves! <laughs> well, lads, who's for ice cream? Uh, Dan, minor problem. Uh, there's no one to serve us. So we leave some money and serve ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, OK, look for some kind of big squirty lever thingy. Go! Found the 
found a big squirty lever thingy. <laughs> Uh, Den, isn't that the handbrake? Uh oh, we've got customers. Customers? We can't have customers. Everybody's. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants more. <laughs> yes, it was just lucky for us all I had this with me last night. Uh, what's that there, Colonel? Well, starch me, civvies. I do believe I've been deceived. What? But who would do something like that? Dennis, do you know? <laughs> I don't like to think what they'll do when we run out of... ice cream. <laughs> Killing my business. Result. <laughs> what do you think of this then, Nashie? Skateboarding without the effort. <laughs> okay, hold tight. <laughs> What is it, 
found the ideal material for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> <laughs> to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! to it, we'll both be in big trouble. Come on, Nasha. We've got to get back before Mum does. <laughs> Dreadful little gutter snipe. Total lack of discipline. I blame the parents. <laughs> oh, where's Mum's material? <laughs> Uh, sorry about that, Colonel. Sorry? It's taken me years to get this so perfect. Years! And now look at it! Ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! No! Wait! Hello? Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. Where 
is that boy? <laughs> and take your rubbish with you! <laughs> right. The little pest thinks he's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Natcher? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. would love to help, wouldn't you? Of course, Dad. Go and get the material then, son. Oh, no. Not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh, oh no! to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? 
<laughs> Oi! Oh, you boys! You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Needs a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! My old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads! Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha! Uh, uh, the heavier we are, the better! Room for one more! And me! That's right, lads! Here we go! Well, we made a hole, all right! And we've discovered a secret cave under my garden! Can you believe it? Yeah! There could be anything down here. Including water for our pool. Come on, lads, let's explore. I don't know, Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... As I was saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. Galloping gators, a piranha, abandon ship, retreat, retreat. Ha ha! We've got the colonel on the run. Now all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Drawing board. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, at least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on, this looks hopeful. I'll take a look. <laughs> Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's 
see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. What a cheek! After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the van? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Control! 
Money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paper clip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's gonna buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Bucks of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen, drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched What's-His-Name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this that wretched What's-His-Name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched What's-His-Name, son. Come in, Governor, come in. Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. <laughs> Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that, everything. When what's his name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. <laughs> Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr. Scrim. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's the latest thing—a Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? 
How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? It must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! What? Oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. The easy peasy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play clip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr. Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. It's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. <sighs> I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. <sighs> Maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, oh, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back. What's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> Uh, so, uh, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. <gasps> That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. 